Good morning. This is Ozarks Fox AM. You know what? It is a good morning because it's Ozarks Fox AM time. It's time to have a positive day, right? Even though the roads are sloshy, a little bit sloshy out there, we made it. And please welcome my special guest co-host, my dear friend, a ball of energy. I love her so much, Paula Mason. Hello. Paula. Good morning. Okay, so thank you for coming. So I initially had Paula scheduled to come guest co-host tomorrow. But uh, Kenya, Will Hite, who we love in Branson, was a little worried about driving from Branson this morning with the you just didn't know about the roads. So Kenya, be safe and warm out there. We love you. But Paula, I said, hey, since you live in Springfield, can you do two days in a row? And I said, yes. <laughs> she just was like, are you sure? I'm sure? I just want to know who gets up this early. What time do you normally get up? I won't say. Oh. <laughs> I just know when my girlfriend start texting me at seven, I'm like, seriously. Like seriously, 7 a.m.? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So by the time the show is starting, she's still in bed going, stop texting me. <laughs> exactly. I only get up this early if I'm going on vacation. Oh, well that's true, yeah. yeah. Gotta get to the airport. Uh -huh. oh, and by the way, we want to give a shout out um, to uh, your mama, yes. Barbara. Barbara. We love you, Barbara. Because I've heard some great stories about you. What did Barbara tell you about the show today? Uh, she told me that I needed to bring my own supplies to cook. <laughs> Because she said she saw you with a knife <laughs> beating the eggs. And then she also, yeah. she was like, oh, I wonder if Jeremy will ask you to be his co-host. I'm like, no. And then you sent me a message. <laughs> <laughs> she might be a little. She's a little psychic, uh -huh. I think. Yeah. Barbara's is. a little psychic. Well, good morning, Barbara. I hope you're watching. Paula's doing an amazing job. And she did bring utensils. Because also yesterday we were texting, and you had a request. She goes, if we're cooking today, your request was? I wanted to do something healthy. Mm-hmm. And so I said, how about an egg roll? So we're doing an inside egg roll. Which is really great because we talked about egg rolls on the show yesterday. Yes, yes. We're celebrating the Lunar New Year and we had some amazing performances yesterday from uh, MSU student and international. That. Oh my gosh, she was fantastic. <laughs> and she was stunningly beautiful. Um, so we had crab rangoon yesterday and now the egg roll in a bowl, which by the way, you sent me the recipe. Right. Do you, can you tell our viewers, you, are you low carb, are you keto? What is your, your, your health routine? Um, actually, I'm like, I sell for a company, so they actually send me food to eat. Oh, gotcha. But then I make my own meal at night, so, okay. or I can make it during the day or whatever. But, um, so I help people lose weight. Um, it, I've had a lot of people lose weight. I've lost 40 pounds. Yes. So, I don't, that's amazing. And it's just by eating, just by eating healthy. And do you, you don't have to do like intermittent fasting or anything nope. so you get to eat? I eat six times a day. Are you serious? Yes. But for, okay, let's say for somebody like me who's on the show and we cook on the show a lot, would that really throw off the plan of your health? Well, I mean, if you took a bite here and there, I mean, if you were really trying to lose a lot of weight, probably. So you'd. So you're telling me when we cook, I can only take one bite of the food? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's impossible. <laughs> well, you're, good thing you're, uh, you don't need to lose any weight. But I was like, because yesterday too, uh, producer Jake and I, we like the low carb, the keto type lifestyle, which I try to stick to not on the show. So yesterday we made the crab rangoon. I was like, I'll just eat one. Then Natalie and I each had three. And I'm like, it's too good. I can't stop. But you had like cream cheese. If you got like a low, like the low fat cream cheese, you know, crab is really good crab for is you. Good. Yes. I mean, you can eat a lot of seafood. So. Wow. There's not a lot that I can eat, so you just have to eat it in smaller portions. Okay. I'm fascinated. I kind of want to see the food that they send you because I've always been leery about the food service because I, I haven't done it yet. Well, it's in little packages. I'll bring you, I'll bring you a brownie tomorrow. Okay, please do. Because I just want to see. By the way, our wonderful um, graphics, uh, Kira, who's been on the show like one time or two times, Kira sent me a link because she does. Uh, Kira, is it HelloFresh? Is that what you do? Kira, I think she sent me. Yeah, she yeah. sent me a link. For a free box to try it out because I'm just like it would be easier for prepping meals if right? it just came to me then I don't have to worry about so I'm gonna try that Kira I will sign up for that she sent me the link and she's so awesome so thank you for that but all right so okay we're gonna get to uh, know Paul a little bit better in our next segment including her family her dog and we have a special <laughs> tribute to Cindy Williams yes rest in peace um, but producer Jake has put together our own headlines today and he told me not to read them so this kind of feels like a teleprompter game at the same time. I'm going to read this blind. Oh, God. Okay, and then we're going to just give our, our thoughts on this. So I'm just, guys at home, I'm reading the teleprompter. Here's what producer Jake has put together for us. Are you ready? Okay, Paula, question. <laughs> What's the farthest you've ever hidden in a game of hide and seek? <laughs> uh, um, let's 
see. Uh, okay, remember the last time we played hide and seek? Was it about two weeks ago? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say yesterday. Yes. <laughs> well, it could have been. It could have been. Uh, let's see. Um, what's the farthest? I'd say, like, the other end of the house. <laughs> that, okay, that's what I was, was going to go. Okay, well, if I'm playing with my cousins when I was a kid, we'd hide in the basement. Right. You know, like, <laughs> that's the furthest we have. So I'm guessing our uh, worldwide headline hide and seek can top that. So uh, we're not going to top what young Fahim, a 15-year-old boy, playing hide-and-seek with friends in Bangladesh. Well, okay, so that's pretty far already. Right. Fahim hid in a shipping container and then fell asleep before the shipping container right before it was placed aboard a cargo <laughs> ship. Oh, my gosh. Do you think he's grounded? Pro I would say so. <laughs> Workers found him a few days later in Malaysia. Oh, my god. You know, I'm thinking free vacation. <laughs> Don't they have great beaches in Malaysia? Uh-huh. I was going to say, maybe he just wanted to get away. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, after the 2,300-mile trip without food and water, Fahim was just a little disoriented and feverish, but otherwise healthy. Oh, there's a, you can kind of see him over there on the right. Oh, my oh. gosh. I would have been freaking out, though. I would have been totally freaking Once out. Once you wake up and you realize, uh, what is happening? 2,300 miles? Yeah, that's, that's a crazy. a lot. That's crazy. In a shipping container. Right, with no food, no water, <laughs> however long that journey was. I like my airplane with my uh, flight attendant bringing me my... Beam boom. Yeah. <laughs> yes, water, please. Actually, the last time I flew, which a couple weeks ago, was beam boom. Bloody Mary, please. <laughs> I was like, I need that to, to, to you know, calm me down, you know. Um, okay, you ready for another headline? Yes. Okay, here's another question. Okay. What's something you wouldn't want to find on a highway? Name something you don't want to find on a highway. Um, let's see, it'd be an animal. True. Yep. I was going to say a person. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, that might be. I don't, want, I don't want that to happen. I want yeah. everybody to be safe out there. Uh, okay, so Western Australia's Department of Fire and Emergency Services had issued a public health warning as members of a mining company have lost a radioactive capsule oh. somewhere <laughs> along the 870-mile stretch of highway in the west part of the country. <laughs> that would be scary. How do you lose that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, the capsule is less, uh, less than the size of a penny. Oh, oh my god, oh my gosh, this is stressing me out. Oh, how would you even see this? I don't even know, and health officials have warned drivers to be careful if they check debris in their tires because oh. that could be... Right. That radioactive... Stuck in between the... Or don't clean up the bottom of your shoes too fast because you're like, <laughs> there's a radioactive right there. Oh, oh my gosh. I wouldn't want to drive. No, oh, I would be scared. You know what, I was... Oddly enough, I'm not a geography type person. Mm -hmm. Producer Jake is. I was following some TikTok accounts that were taking, it was basically showing, when you look at the globe, you really don't understand sizes of countries until you move them on top of another country to see oh. the, and they were showing like Australia on top of the United States to show how big it is. And then they were showing like Western Australia, they have a state, is so big it covers like half of Europe. So it's like, it's that Western Australia, so big, kind of empty. So that nuclear penny is somewhere floating or just on the ground somewhere. That's crazy. In Western Australia. <laughs> it's way too big, way too flat, way too inhab inhabitable. Or you go, uh, like, you know, you're walking by it and you're like, oh, what is that? And then you pick it up and, like. And especially, what if it's a kid? Because uh, kids are curious. Right. And you're like, mommy, what? And let's take it home and play with it. And you're like, <laughs> no, no, no. No, oh my gosh. But you wouldn't know what it is. But that's the whole thing, too. Yeah, I hope they did post a picture, like, in the Australian news about, like, what it looked like. Oh my gosh, my pack is falling completely off. There we go. Sorry, guys. Um, but yay, Jake, I liked those headlines. That was very good. I appreciate that. And by the way, we did it. Thank you, Jake. Yeah. By the way, we did that teleprompter game with Christine Dawes, and I feel like I was just doing a teleprompter game too because I was just reading blind. That was way easier. Way yeah, easier. Way easier because I was not going to take her part. We should have done that with Paula. No. That would have been amazing. <laughs> I saw her. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow.